I'm very sure that sometime in your life you have come across this ad from a company called Quadlock when scrolling on Instagram or Facebook and you've probably seen the Quadlock mounting system and there are a bunch of accessories. Today I'll be showing you guys how to set up the Quadlock wireless charging module on the car mount accessory with an iPhone 12 Pro Max, showcase some first hand examples and give you guys my first impression of the Quadlock experience. Mm. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, my name is Ken and this is a channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad Pro related content and tech. Today, we'll be taking a look at a bunch of quad lock accessories, mainly featuring Apple's iPhone 12 Pro Max with the car mount system along with the Qi wireless charging module. If you have missed the massive unboxing video posted last week, you can check it out in the card above right here. The iPhone 12 Pro Max case short video is also available in case you have missed it as well. So let's dive right into setting up the car mount with the wireless charging module. First, unscrew the knob at the base of the car mount and simply attach the wireless charging module like so. Here I am using my power bank with a USB-C to power it on. Once powered on, you can see the LED at the sides blinking blue and green. If you look closely, there is a button that turns on and off the LED for indication. At the base of the car mount, there is a twist knob to release the suction for holding the car mount which we will talk about it in a second. So now let's test it out with my own iPhone XR with just the wireless charger. The case fits the sides pretty well and I guess that will do it. And it works with no problem. The quad lock system features a twist and lock feature that needs a little bit of practice to get used to. In the next section of the video, we will take a look at setting this up in your car, a couple of real life first impressions using the quad lock system. Of course, there are some problems getting used to mounting the quad lock case to the car mount. I would highly think that it will get better over time with some practice, so this shouldn't be a problem. Next, with the car mount, you are also able to stick it to your dashboard if you want to do it like so. And that's basically it for the demonstration. So the quad lock case with the car mount and the add-on wireless charging head cost about 110 US dollars. There's been a whole lot of hype about this quad lock having to see ads everywhere on Instagram. From my impression, the case feels really really solid and the locking mechanism is pretty unique and functional. I would much prefer a magnetic, no locking mechanism kind of a workaround. And thankfully, MagSafe has came back on the newer iPhones. So I probably don't need to add a physical magnet as I'm currently using one right here when I decide to buy the new iPhone sometime in the future. Apart from the car mounting system, there are a bunch of different mounting accessories like for mounting on a motorcycle or bicycle, wall mounts, desk mount, and even for running. When you decide to invest in the quad lock system, do consider what other types of activity that you can reap the most benefit out of this quad lock case. Is it worth it? I will leave it up to you guys to decide. 
And yeah, that's basically all for today's video. I hope you have found this video insightful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Like the video if you actually enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you all so so much for tuning in. I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe, peace out and bye bye.